My main problem is my anger. Sometimes I can't control it, but I cannot hold it. Too much mixed up emotions. I still feel some type of way. My grandma died on post it. Hide it with a face smile. So they do not know. Rob well, Dash, man, what's going on, bro? What's good with you, man? Man, we, where we at with it, bro? We in the East. We, yeah. lose. we got yeah. New Orleans top youngin', huh? I, I seen you on Million Rose blog, man. And I um looked at your video, Anger Issues. Fire, gotta say it's fire. Thanks, you got 11k already, already, man. It's your first video. Yeah, that's my first music video, like ever. How you, how you feel about it, the 11k? I mean, I feel like I'm underrated. Like I, I be feeling like I deserve more than that. So. Uh huh. So how long you been rapping? Let's say you feel underrated. I've been rapping since sixth grade. Sixth grade. I was 11 when I first started. Uh huh. How old you is now? 16. 16. Now, a 16 year old say they feeling underrated. A lot of people blowing right now in the industry is, uh, they coming up young and young, and a lot of people feel like they overnight success. You feel your success is overdue? Yeah, I feel like I should have been made it. Like, <laughs> real talk. Uh huh. How, how did you get first get in the rap? I first got in the rap, it's like, I always been around music. Like, my mama, she be singing. Mm -hmm. My full sisters, all us, we was in the choir growing up. Mm -hmm. The church, we was in the church choir, so I was just always surrounded by music. So, and then I just tried it out. Thanks. So, um, th that's why you, I, I would say like your, I guess your, I would like to say your style and ability, like the singing and the key, yeah. like the melody. That's where that come from. Uh -huh. uh huh. So, so we're doing that, man, in the rap. How you feel about the rap, the rapping industry in New Orleans right now, with a lot of people, um, I guess coming up or bubbling on the scene for New Orleans. New Orleans rap, I feel like, like I'll say it again, like as a whole, we mm -hmm. like we got a lot of underrated artists. Like, mm -hmm. like Nino Calvin, I feel like he should have been been blew up. Mm -hmm. We Junkie, Le Glenn, like all them, they they should have been came up. Mm -hmm. talk. But they we, we just overlook and sometimes it's support like we don't really be supporting each other like that. Mm -hmm. Once you drop your first video, have you seen? I guess more fans or more people coming towards you or looking at you. Yeah, more, like more people. Yeah, more people been starting to check me out. You know, hit me up, DMing me and all that, telling me keep growing stuff like that. Yeah, got gotcha. you. Now on SoundCloud, you have plenty of views on all your songs. How did you build such a fan base being so young already? Uh, oh, so I already kind of had like a little fan base before I was on SoundCloud because I was dropping like the freestyle videos. Uh -huh. And like they was really going up. People telling me, man, you need to get in the studio. You need to get in the studio. You need to get in the studio. So I just. I got in the studio. At first, I was scared because I didn't really know how I was going to sound on a real song. Like, right. I was just doing the videos. What was your then, first ever song recorded? My first ever song recorded was. This song called In My Zone. It's on SoundCloud. Mm -hmm. And how old was you? 15. 15? So you only been rapping on, in the studio for a year? Since April. April last year. April Not last even year. year. Uh huh. Not. How you feel, well, what you feel is your rank in New Orleans, because a lot of people like to separate, but well, I don't even want to say New Orleans, a lot of people just like to separate, like, they got the youngins, and like, the middle, and then they got the old heads. Like, out of the youngins? Yeah. yeah. I'm number one. I ain't, like, I ain't <laughs> get nothing saying, but like, right. it's kind of odd, like, um, I just feel like, like, the stuff that I rap about, and like, how I do it at such a young age, mm -hmm. I, just, I, just, I think I'm What's so unique about you? Like, like, like the music I make, it be real. Like, it's mm -hmm. not, it's not, like some of the pain music other people be making, they just be making it to like fit in with the wave and stuff. Right. Like the like the stuff I be speaking about, I really be going through that. That's really my life. Mm -hmm. Not saying that, what made you, I guess, dig in so deep into the pain music and show your real self to your fans? Like, you, um, Oh, your anger issues song, you say you're listening to Rod Wave, he's a pain artist. Yeah, a lot of people feel him as that. I, how is your influences? How do you get that out in your um, music? Like, I ain't gonna lie, I'm kind of open to my fans, but I'm kind of not like, once I keep going up, I'm, I'm gonna be more open and stuff. Like, right. Because, like, to me, that's being, like, vulnerable. Like, you know, being vulnerable in your song. You, you telling your whole life story, and a random person could just listen to it, and they basically know you. Like, they know you. The real you, right? But when a lot of people say that when you when you telling your story through music, that's a that's just a form of art for you. Uh, that's that's a way you escape, or that's just something you fell into. All uh, all three, to be honest, mm -hmm. like it's a form of art. And it's my escape room, my problems, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about some artists?
just being rappers to be rappers and not taking it as, as serious probably as you or other people be or they feel it's just a quick come up i mean i kind of kind of go ways with it because like some people just rap just to get money ain't, ain't nothing wrong with that right. ain't nothing wrong with that but like i i got i got a problem with people that rap to just follow the wave mm -hmm. like i don't, I don't like it. You know, but you, you you don't even have no reason to be rapping you just rapping to like follow the way just because everybody else doing it. You ain't trying to get no money. You ain't trying to tell your story. You just doing it because I'm mm -hmm. I'm saying that. What's the story behind you, man? Where your name come from? And how did you get into rapping besides the choir? How did you, what made you first like, like boom? Rap. Yeah. Starting out with my name. My name, do I dash? My nickname, Dash. Like, do I mean money? Right. So I just said, do I dash? And if you got huh? <laughs> and like, I first wrote my rap in class, like sixth grade. But like, it was like a little creative, a little creative arts class, I think. Uh huh. You know, and I was just like, I wonder, I wonder if I could like really rap. And I had wrote it. That's that shit was cool. It was cool though. But like, <laughs> gotta start I, somewhere. Uh huh. My teacher, she was hyping it up like, hey, you really, you really, you really know something and all that. And that just made me keep going. Have you ever um, felt the verge to quit any rap? Quick rappers? Always. Always. How often? And why? I want to say every day, but like every now and then. Mm. It's because, like, like I said, like I, I feel like I should have been grew up and like, it's like, man, like what, what I'm doing wrong? Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. And like that be making me like, like I throw a lot of songs away because I don't be thinking they're good enough sometimes. Mm -hmm. And like, the, you know, I just be like, man, I must be doing something wrong. Mm -hmm. Do it. Like saying that, when you say you feel something wrong, do you feel it's your surrounding? You feel it's you? You feel it's the music? You feel it's the people around you? Or you feel it's the city around you? What you feel? That's wrong. It be me, like. Uh -huh. you know, it, it be, like, I'm my own enemy. A lot of stuff went across your head. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I done had, like, a couple songs. My partner's tell me, man, what's my best? Man, that really cool. And I'm like, I don't like it. Like, but when I put it out, everybody will like it. Right. So that's why that's why that's what I be thinking. Like you can't you can't like not allow yourself to make it just because you might not have as much confidence at the moment. Yes. Now, with with saying that in a music music studio, do you what's your process of going through music? Like in the studio? Yeah. To be honest, I I just oh yeah, this is this I just started getting in the real studio. Mm -hmm. I was like rapping off my phone at first. Like rock out all them songs that that stuff comes from my phone. But like yeah. I was just being creative and I found a way to like make it sound real. It's like I was just like I, I got because I got a partner that got a real studio. Mm -hmm. So I like record my song off Band Lab and send it to him and let him mix it and edit it and send it back. And people think I really be people thought I was really in the real studio, but I really wasn't. I was doing all that shit in my closet <laughs> off my phone. Crazy. Well, I saw in your in your bio on Instagram you have a label on there. I couldn't remember the name, but F what's the label? label? F and what? F and F. Uh, what does it stand for? I mean, Flex Never Fool. We came up with that like in the eighth grade. It's just like you know, like stand tall. You know, never fold up, man. You got you know. Mm -hmm. Now, are you the only artist? Did you? Who else the artist on that? A for Life. Mm -hmm. That's it. Uh huh. It's me and him. The rest of them boys, they ballers. Mm -hmm. Ballers. Mm hmm. All right, so it's basically a team that y'all just it's together. You don't yeah. just gotta be a rapper. Yeah, y'all gotta going rap. Up. You just you can't just be sitting around doing nothing. Though. Right. So then you gotta be trying to make it out. Got you. Be balling, rapping, dancing, doing whatever. At least you trying to make it out. Mm -hmm. Now what? Now you got one EP out. Is it an EP or a mixtape? I got two EPs. Out. Two EPs out. Uh -huh. All right. Now when are you? I guess what's the um like singles coming up next? Yeah. Album. You got an album plan, mixtape plan. I'm a job. <laughs> couple more singles, couple more videos, then I'm gonna put out a mixtape. Everybody be telling me drop a mixtape, like uh -huh. a mixtape. What, what, what's your goals with videos, a mixtape? What's like a number you would like to reach? For your video, for one video, or for your mixtape as in listens, uh, views? Video, my goal is to hit 50K. Because mm -hmm. I've been hitting 10Ks and all that stuff on regular songs and all that, so I'm kind of like, at first, I used to get bucked up about it, but now I'm like, I want most. Yeah, like it's regular now. Yeah. It's like an average for you, uh -huh. so you want like 30K on yeah, the list. Yeah, I'm trying to get like 50. Look, yeah, 50K. Mm -hmm. For a mixtape, mixtape, I ain't gonna cap. I want like, yeah, 50K too. I want like mm -hmm. 
at like the songs to be averaged out to like 50k like all of them all of them going on like yeah uh, because even though i want you to do, get discouraged by like your videos because videos are hard to like get views on yeah, music like, is really more easy because they click on it. a lot of people don't want just go to youtube watch the video because they feel like a waste of time but yeah I, I feel like 20k on the video amounts to 50k on regular song uh, listens so like on soundcloud yep. now do you want that like as for your yearly goal or like that's a three months six months half of the year you want 50k by 2020 i want 50k for like i'm trying to get to that in like a month like, quick yeah like, i'm trying <laughs> to really like study going up mm -hmm. now saying that well, how you feel how you feel about i guess the industry right now and how you feel they evaluate talent in the industry like industry like yeah how, how do like they pick you? talent yeah a lot of that stuff be gimmicks like i don't i don't really be rocking with how they like label talent like because mm -hmm. they got some real real talented artists artists that's not like blown up yet because they don't have like a little gimmick or nothing mm -hmm. like some of these rappers now you see they got the nothing against the rappers with colorful hair and with right. face tattoos and all that but like to me that stuff be all like a gimmick Niggas be acting all demonic and all that stuff. <laughs> you no, know, I don't really be liking all that. Like, just be yourself. Son. Right. Sometimes, sometimes them dudes really be like like that in real life. Like, right. But sometimes they just be an act. But do you feel? I guess the labels manipulate the artists to be that, or you feel some artists just want to do that for the, the the known word of this generation and clout. Oh. Mm -hmm. I, I'm pretty sure they got some artists that don't be want to do that shit, but like. They just still do it, mm -hmm. like just because, like, just because they live with you. And they got some dudes that really like doing that for clout, like, right? Well, what, what do you feel? I guess the the labels, um, I guess they look for like characteristics. You feel they look for lyrics, talent, um, popularity. What you feel they look for they look most? For, like, I wouldn't say they look for lyrics, cause like. A lot of the stuff niggas be making now don't really be making sense. Like, so I you can't say they be looking for lyrics because mm -hmm. if they was looking for real lyrics, or like a lot of more like lyrical rappers or like thoughtful rappers would be blown up by now. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't say that. Who are some artists who influenced you to rap? Uh, who are some artists you listen to? The first rapper that influenced me to rap was Chance the Rapper. Mm -hmm. He got he had the um, like album called Acid Rap. Acid rap yeah. Bro, I listen to that. I, I used to listen to that so much, like every day. And I, <laughs> to me, that that's still the best album ever made. Acid rap. Yeah, that's, that's the coolest album I ever heard in my life. Mm -hmm. I'll tell the old heads that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, them bro. bro. <laughs> <laughs> not not chance to rap, but that's it. Any other people? Oh, now. Um, yeah, now. Raw Wig. I mean, he, he a big influence on me. He like, you know, he made me like. I listen to one of his songs, and then that'll make me go write about something. I done been through like some deep stuff. Like, you know, he, he make me like wanna open. He make me wanna open up to my friends, you know, cause I see how he opening up to his friends. How like, he doing good? Mm -hmm. so I be like, I maybe mean, I should open up. How does the um New Orleans crowd take your music in? How do you feel the feedback is from your hometown? They rocking with me right now. Uh -huh. Some of them rocking with me for real life. I be getting DMs like, bro, you really like your music really helped me. Like, it really helped me get through stuff. Like people be like, you really putting off in order, bro. Like keep it up. So I'm like, you know, they just be encouraging me and all that. I like, I be liking it. Like, people really making me feel like I'm doing something. Sure. Do you feel like what you feel can be like a move to take your the the feedback from your fans and your DMs to make it into money moves? What you feel you gotta do next? Explain that again. <laughs> like, like you know how the feedback comes, like. You doing good, bro. What do you feel you have to do, like, to translate the feedback into money, though, so you can live off your rap? You don't gotta work. If that's your choice. I feel like it's. I feel like it's just gonna take that little one song I make. Mm -hmm. That one song I make that's gonna blow me up. And then after that, if I if I keep being consistent with it, consistent, then it ain't no, like you can't stop it. You you feel you have that one song right now in the chamber. You feel it's out right now. You feel you gotta make it. I gotta make. It. I got I got some I got songs in the I got some songs in the chain that's up there. But you don't feel like that's the one? I feel like I feel like they'll blow up in the city. Like really like Yeah, they like they'll I ain't gonna lie, I, I do got one song that's in the chain that I feel like it'll really boost me up there. How do you how do you know when you're an artist? How do you know when you're in the studio? Is it is the song the one or is it trash or not? Like if 
Um, like me, I know because like I get chills. Mm-hmm. Like, like if I get like a little chill, like when I, when I play back the song and I'm vibing and I get like a little chill in me, I be like, oh yeah, that's I got to drop that. <laughs> oh no, now with your team members uh, of the level you have, of the level y'all have, I want to say, how, how is the um, chemistry and the camaraderie with all y'all man? We, we link them for real, like tight mm-hmm. for real. Like, I like I like them because like they they support me like. Every song I drop, video I drop, they'll post it on their page. Keep mm-hmm. it up there. They don't look. They don't put it on the little story. They like post it on their page. On their page. Like they keep it up there. Like send it to Google people, tagging everybody. Like see, go. Mm-hmm. What's the What's the most important part of sticking together, man? When you got a group, because a lot of people in groups, I'm sure you know, a lot of people break up in groups over mm-hmm. the smallest mm-hmm. things. So what What's the um, biggest um most important thing of staying together, man? I feel like. Most important thing in staying together is just loyalty. Mm-hmm. Just be loyal. Yeah, like, y'all gonna like me. Like I treat them like my brothers. You know, if you got a brother, y'all gonna fight. Like, y'all gonna be fighting for something. Like, that ain't nothing. You just yeah, shake, shake back. back from it's just, it's just. If, if you really, really my brother, we can fight. Just get over, get over, get over. For sure, man. I in this new industry, man. Tell the people what it's like growing up in New Orleans. It's not no joke. Say that. It's not. It's not nothing to play with. Like, it's really like wicked out here, for real. Like some people, I don't know. Like it's just. It's like you never know if you are gonna make it home. To be honest, right. for real. Now, is it hard for that being only sixteen, like you said, with that yeah. going in your mind? You got. I know you got a lot of things going in your mind. If I blow a rap, I gotta make it home. Yeah. Then I gotta move out. Right. Know? And plus, like. Right now, like I'm starting to notice, like people are like, like, I don't know, like people approach me, but like I'm, I'm like, um, what's the word? Introvert. Something like that. <laughs> something like that. Like, like I be chilling, and like some New Orleans dudes, like they got a natural like look mean face. So. Yeah. So it's like. Just dang nigga uh-huh. mugging. Uh-huh. So like nigga. <laughs> Nigga will be walking up to me and like I'm getting ready to do something like man, what you want? Like But like he'll be here come to me and be like, say son, keep rap or something, keep that shit up. Like uh-huh. he'll be like, oh what's that? Like, you, you never know what a nigga might do down here, so right. it's really crazy. You never know. And That's I ain't gonna lie, in some cases I'll be like, I'll be walking and I see somebody drive by in the car and be like, that's that that's that little nigga dash, like like on some hate type shit, like mm-hmm. Thanks man, I do have dash, man. You say you want the 50k on a video in one month. Fuck the fuck the whole 2020. And month. you say you want the 50k in the music video, man. Tell the people what's next. You got a name for your album or mixtape coming out? I don't got no name for it, but I'm gonna just say this: like, this really gonna be like, this like y'all y'all gonna know who I am. Mm-hmm. Like, y'all gonna know, y'all gonna know who I am. Like y'all gonna know everything I've been through. Every like, yeah, y'all gonna know. For sure, man. Let the people know your social media platform. Let them know the, the merch you're rocking as well, man. man you just look, picked up. Follow me. Twitter, go up dash. Instagram, go up dash. This merch I got on, Born Savage Nola. Born Instagram, Savage Nola. Really, really got that smoke. I got some more stuff from that boy. Mm-hmm. Give me a shirt. For sure, for sure. Dope. For sure, man. He getting sponsored already, man. Y'all better Thanks. hop on it before, <laughs> before it's over, man. We on Team Visuals, man. Go out there. Let them know what it is, man. Thanks.